<coughs> Excuse me. Uh, thanks for sharing your plan. I've got it open in Chief Architect Premier 11, X11, excuse me. I'm going to program it so that I can share the file with you after I've finished editing it. I, was, I just started the video. I haven't looked at your plan. Let's take a look at it. Okay, I'm not interested in that. Okay, I see you got it set up. Now, in order to get attic trusses, let's go to the second floor, which I assume you've built. No, you haven't built. Okay, you can't build a room in the attic. Not, the software is not programmed to do that. So what I'm going to do is go to, over to build floor, build new floor, left click. And I'm going to say make blank plan for the second floor. And I'm going to click OK. It's going to ask me what the ceiling height is once I actually create a room or a space. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm going to stay with uh, 96. And then it, here's my second floor. You know, right now, in, if you look at it, in 3D overview, you don't see any change. Well, that's that's because there's a it's just blank. Now, right now, this, this wall and this wall, I'm going to shift select those and open them both, so you can see how they're programmed. They were automatically generated by the software, and so they came in attic wall, no room defined. They won't allow you to draw a room and they're no locate okay so what i'm going to do is turn on the reference display now so i can see the first floor and i'm just going to draw some walls in here a couple i'm going to use uh, whatever the default you set for the uh, exterior walls now these unlike the two i just drew let me draw one this way let me shift select those and open them. You'll see they're not marked no locate, no room to define in attic walls because that's their default condition. Now I, I get no room dialog box here because of this wall and this wall being attic walls and no room defined. So I have to use the wall break tool and section those walls off with breaks. I mean, left click with the break, break wall tool. <clears throat> now I can just select this little segment of that wall and this one and reprogram them. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to uncheck no locate, no room define, and attic wall. And now magically I get a room dialog box. Awesome. Now all of, unless we have auto, auto rebuild roofs on, which I hope are not on, let me check. Oh, you got auto rebuild roofs on. That's bad. Let me uncheck that. Because I'm sure the roofs look like the devil now. See? Oh. Nope. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> we don't want that. Let me hit Shift F6. Shift F6. To split the screens up. I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to go to the build roof dialog. And I'm going to check ignore second floor. Because we want to build under the roof stick or in, you know, just the garage. That should put the roofs back where they were. No, not yet. Let me further open this dialog box and uh, we'll go to the structure tab and undo flat and roof over this room. See what effect that has. Is auto roof, rebuild roof still on? Oh, I see it's off. I thought it was on. <clears throat> ah, now we're back to where we were. Now let's do a cross section through this. You'll see how much headroom you've got underneath the existing roofs. 
excuse me, let me go to dimension tools. So these side walls that I've got are just three feet tall and an eight foot ceiling. It's barely, you know, there's not gonna be very much eight foot ceiling in this, this deal. So I'm going to go back to the floor plan view here. Oh, wait a minute, I'm sorry, I clicked on the wrong one. There we go. <clears throat> I'm gonna move this wall inward. Now you just went and said you wanted storage. Tell you what, let's let's draw a CAD line. CAD line. And I'll draw it right on the center line of the roof. And now I should be able to get a, a dimension. Yeah. I'm gonna set these as symmetric to uh, five feet and five feet. 10 foot wide. Well, that's to the outside. Let's do it to the inside. Move those dimensions over. I want to set it five feet and five feet on the inside. Now we'll go back to the uh, elevation. And that's a decent size, uh, <coughs> excuse me, room. And I think I'll further, uh, I don't think I need this one anymore. Let's see, second floor. Yeah, I'm going to close that camera. No. Well, I, I, I should have pointed out, you go back and create the elevation again. By creating, doing what I did, see now the software has a thick floor here for to hold up a floor and it's not just ceiling joists. It always automatically does that. And that's if you were ever gonna try to now if you if you just need this for storage, then maybe you don't need a that that much beefy uh stuff for the but that that's between you and a structural engineer. Forget about it. Okay now let's go to the um I'm gonna go over to build roof no, fire, I'm sorry, framing. And uh, I want the truss tool. Where is that? Where's that bad boy? There it is, roof truss. And then we'll just left click drag. That sucks. Let's see. Let me... Okay, then we got two. Let's take a look at and see what the software did with the truss tool. And it may be blank. Yeah, it's blank. Because in this ca this camera, framing is not turned on. It's not, there's nothing wrong. It's just a matter of I have to you have to manually tell the software what to do. So go over to framing roof trusses, and they're right there. See, it's there. The red cross says that it's there, a red plus sign, but it's not visible. And there's there's the answer to your question. You have to create a second floor and then create with properly programmed walls a space and then the trust tool will you know go around uh i don't know if pro will do this but uh, i'm going to go over here to uh uh yeah cad cad detail management i don't remember if pro has that or not but that see it automatically created a trust detail and then there's those two See, it's split it in two trusses, and that's just, the so software is designed to pre-program to do, to do whatever you set up, then it reacts to that. So the actual truss uh, would look, you know, like this, and then a mirror image, and then here's the attic room in the middle. Let me close that. What did I do? I still want to close the can oh, I see. So now let's go to a uh, framing overview. I haven't created any framing in this, oh, well, okay, you have. <clears throat> so there's the uh, four framing that came from the dialog box. And then uh, you can see that there's a single, oh, it, huh, look at that, it automatically, 
Oh, okay. The trusses are there, but see, because you created framing before the trusses were in place, <clears throat> what we need to do, do this properly, I'm gonna to go to edit, uh, delete objects, and uh, we'll go to objects here. And I don't wanna, I don't wanna, no, let's see. That's, I wanna delete, oh, okay. Let me uncheck that. Okay, I'm gonna go, oh, framing's grayed out. You must have auto framing on, okay. That's why <clears throat> you're a new user and I forgive you, but <clears throat> if you use the software very long, you would never use auto framing because if you're, if you're doing things manually, the auto framing undoes what automatically what you were doing manually <laughs> while you were doing it. So let's go over here to build framing. And oh, look, Automatically, okay, I'm gonna uncheck that. I wanna uncheck for sure roof framing because I'm not done yet. You have to manually build the trusses and lay them out and then build framing and then build roof framing. But now that I've unchecked that, I, I should be able to go over to, uh, yeah, delete objects now and delete, whoops, delete objects and Framing still grayed out. Okay, I guess I have to go back to the build menu. The, the, the build framing, yeah. And then un turn off some more automatic framing. That's unchecked. That's unchecked. We'll uncheck that. Okay, now I go back to edit, delete objects. <clears throat> it's still grayed out. Curses. <laughs> okay, let me go to a, an overview. I'll just do it manually. Okay, I'm gonna click on that and hit the delete key. That's a trust, I don't wanna delete that one. So I'm deleting this roof framing that you had built automatically, which is out of sequence. This framing I'll leave alone. It's fine where it is. That's bridging between, that's not truss, not truss. That's truss, so I'm gonna skip that. I think I need to turn vector view, turn the color off and turn the, change this to a vector view so I can see what the hell I'm doing. There we go, that's better. I think that's, yeah, that's the truss. That's not the truss. Maybe there's an easier way to do this. Let me turn on in plan view. And this is plan view layer display options. There, this, there's seven different layer display options depending on whether you're in plan view or, or a particular camera mode. I want to go to uh, framing roof. We'll turn the trusses off and turn on rafters and roof uh, labels. I don't care about roof blocking. Okay, that's fine. Well, now I don't see any. Oh, it's down here. Okay, good. Now I'm going to just shift select this junk. It's junk because it was done out of sequence. Not because you're a bad person or anything. See, edit preferences must not be set up to my liking here. I want it under edit to, oh, I can, I want it to select intersected objects, not just contained objects. That's what was happening. So I'm gonna intersect all of those and leave this area over here alone and delete. And for the most part, there's a little bit of junk out here, but I'm gonna leave, leave that, that's not important. Now I'm gonna go up, back up to the second floor and turn uh, roof trusses back on. 
but, 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 framing row or trusses. There they are. <laughs> Where'd my trusses go? Wait a minute. I thought I, I did. Well, it doesn't matter. Let's make the ceiling in here a little bit lower. Let's make it uh, this is just for storage. We'll make it seven foot six. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the build framing rooftop. Okay, so left click drag. Okay, so now I got a, a truss. By lowering the ceiling, I got it to be one piece. Now, also, I want to turn on the, see the roof. I guess I'll just turn, I'll go over here to the display options and go to R for roof planes. They're on and baseline. Okay, where the hell are they then? I don't see them. <laughs> Wait a minute. I always do these extemporaneously, so you just cut me some slack. I'm working for free here. So we got roof planes on. Uh, I don't get it. I guess maybe I need to turn the uh, roof framing off now. Let's go to, yeah, framing. We'll turn Turn off uh, framing roof. Leave the trusses on. Okay. I still don't see that. Well, I see some roof planes over here. I don't see these. Maybe they're up here. Covered up by the reference display. No, they're not up here. Where the heck are they? No, that's the foundation. Um, what am I suffering from Alzheimer's disease or something? <laughs> well, there's a truss there, so there, there must be a roof plane there. I was going to try to visually turn those on. Okay, I'm going to take this and just take this one and set it right to the outside edge. We'll hit uh, enter. Oh, I didn't do it right. Need to set that to zero and then enter. Okay. Now I'm going to click on this copy tool and make sure that the interval is uh, uh, 24 inches. Set that to, and, I'm, and then grab that and zoom back a little bit and then fill in the trusses. Ooh, that came out almost perfect. This one I need to move back a little bit. I'm going to use the arrow keys to just move it back a little bit. This one and this one are in trusses, so I have to tell the software that. And where's that checkbox? I haven't done this in since version 10, so I mean X10. So X11 is a little bit different. There used to be a checkbox there for interest. Maybe I need to do them one at a time. Let's just select one. Sometimes shift selecting doesn't give you the same choice. I don't see it. Lumber, raise lower, no. There used to be a setting in, in this uh, trust dialog box to make, to designate interests. Okay, the heck with that. These trusses are not legal anyway because they weren't designed by an engineer. Okay, now uh, <clears throat> actually you need a truss base over here. Let's see, bill framing. Let's see if there's a tool here for that. There, no, that's roof truss, roof beam, roof blocking rafter. There used to be a tool called truss base, which I've in 24 years of using the software, I think I used it twice. So 
I'm, you know, I don't see it anymore. To heck with it. <coughs> let's just take a look at uh, let's now we can go to build framing and left click on build framing, go to roof autom and no, I don't want to go automatically. I want to build roof framing. Click OK. Yeah. And then it fills in around the trusses. Doesn't look like it filled in around it, but the framing may be down here. Nope. Let's take a look at it in the uh, framing overview. And see, there's your, your well, you got some, looks like there's a piece mi missing here. Well, that, that doesn't look right. We got it in, okay, I see an X11 and it made the in trusses automatically, but these internal trusses that I made, these, oh, that's weird. I think over here to CAD, CAD detail management, trust detail. <laughs> it's still showing just those two trusses. Well, <clears throat> let me say this about that. Anything you draw in this software is conceptual because trusses by law are supposed to be designed not by software, but by a state licensed structural engineer. So if I were you, I wouldn't worry about it that much. We've laid it out properly. I did it properly. It shows correctly in plan view. Maybe it doesn't show correctly in 3D, but uh, most of most builders don't use uh, 3D for a framing anyway. Most uh, framers would, be, would just be confused by this. So I see you did some, uh, you have a vaulted ceiling over here. Okay, that's fine. But all of this <clears throat> is not, the size of the lumber needs to be specified by a, st a state licensed structural engineer. And trusses can only be designed by a state licensed tr structural engineer, period. They're, these are not legal, they're conceptual. I'm sorry I couldn't get a perfect product for you, but I tried. That's another framing over you. I don't know why these uh, interior trusses aren't showing. Uh, oh, maybe they're turned off. Let me check the uh, display options. Go to tools, display, whoops, table, this display options. Let's see if they're turned on. I, I can see the entrances, so they're probably turned on. That'd be framing roof rafters is on. Trusses, yeah. I don't get it. But if I were you, I wouldn't worry about that. Uh, th this is cute, but none of it's legal. You know, software and people like you and me can't design or not legally under by law, state law allowed to design trusses. So and I wouldn't worry about it, but that's just me. You can worry about it if, if you insist. I just don't recommend it. Let me just get rid of this camera view. Okay, that's about it. I'm sorry I couldn't get more success for you. I did the right things here. That's a trust, that's a trust. Open its dialog box and it says it. Now, why it's not showing, I don't know. You might have to send your plan now to uh, tech support <clears throat> and so forth. But I, I created a 10 foot wide by the length of the bu building storage area and created truss, trusses. Uh, for some reason, these trusses are not showing up in the truss detail. Framing general, they should, oh, framing general, all of these should be on framing truss. Let's see, I want to, I'm going to turn the, I'm going to go over to uh, all layers off, and now I'm going to just selectively turn on framing Oh yeah, I'm going in the wrong direction. I need to F's. There we go. I want framing roof. Yeah. I want 
crosses and said framing general. I don't think there's a, a framing general. Oh, there it is, framing general. Let's turn that on. Ah, there they are. Let's take a look. Let me see if that in this layer set, tools, layers, yeah. See if framing general is on. I was trying to figure out why that wasn't showing. It's on, but it's not. It's on, but it's not showing. So it's kind of worthless. But there it is. I'm going to marquee select these. <clears throat> I'm going to go over here to line style and change the uh, from framing general to framing trusses like they're supposed to be. Well, framing roof trusses, that's what it is. And let's see if that makes any difference. No, none whatsoever. Well, <laughs> I gave it a college try for you. I wonder why that's sticking out over there. You now it's adjustable. You can manually adjust these things by just left clicking it on them and dragging them. It's kind of a pain to have to do it one one piece of wood at a time. But these are sticking out. I wonder why they're sticking out. It's, okay, I want to get out of all off. I would, I would just to isolate the framing. I'm going to go back to working layer set. Yeah. Oh, I need, I know what I need. I need to turn on, uh, maybe the walls don't line up. I look like that lines up pretty good. That's not it. Oh, these are sticking out. I wonder what, oh, well that, that's, that's so they support the overhang, never mind. <clears throat> this video is running long, but I hope you're, you're learning some things. I'm gonna turn on framing. I don't, I'm gonna turn on headers, posts, rim joists. I don't care about labels. <clears throat> There's no framing here. What's that? It's framing rim joists, okay. There's a wall framing. I'm trying to find that framing that's sticking out. Oh, is that it? I mean, I'm going to do a cross section. I just had a brain fart. We'll see if it's any good. I'm going to create an elevation camera. And uh, there's that stuff that's sticking out. Let me click on it and find out what layer it's on. Roof trusses. The trusses are way down there for some reason. That's probably why they're not showing. Isn't that goofy? Okay, let's try this again. And delete all those trusses. Try it one more time, then I give up. We'll build, framing, whoops, right? Come on, framing, rope truss. Could not create a roof truss at this location because no roof. Yeah, I understand. Where's the? Think over here to all on layer, all on layer set. The shortcut and cheap premiere to turn all the layers on. There's your floor, floor framing. 
Oh, let me take a look. Maybe there's no. I swear that I saw. Oh, the roof planes got accidentally deleted. Holy moly. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't know this. Well, that explains that. So, all right. I think uh, let's build, build roof planes again. I'm not going to go auto auto build, but you know, build and then take a look. Make sure it's okay. Okay, that's all right. I accidentally deleted the roof planes. Now, where are they? Here they are. I take those and send them up to the next level. Now, now I can see the roof planes. All right, now we'll go to build, framing, roof truss. Let's click drag. You know, okay, it's doing that half and half thing. So I'm gonna create the two halves and then select, select them together. And again, do this uh, number here. I'm not gonna make it perfect because I'm not making it perfect. I wish I'd okay. Okay, at least now the trusses are being cut off at this uh, transitional uh, gable roof here. Now let's see what that looks like in the uh, overview camera. I think I'm about done. I didn't realize I'd accidentally deleted that uh, roof plane. Okay, now they're showing up, or most, or some of them are showing up. In here, they're not showing up, and yeah, uh, call tech support. <laughs> because there's there's something wrong with this plan. It's not working like any other plan I've ever worked on. But that's the general thing. You you assign us a second floor room underneath the existing roof planes, and then draw your trusses, and then you should be done. Now, why it's not working in, in this copy of your plan? I haven't a clue because on my my computer on my plans everything works perfect. I'm sorry I couldn't display it for you, but I I did give it a shot. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped in some way, and have a great day.